of x squared plus 4x over log base 3 of 9. This is the same as log base 3 of x equals to log base 3 of 4 over log base 3 of 9. So personally, I like small numbers, so I'm just going to change everybody to base 3, right? Because log base 3 of 9 is equally nice to solve. The log base 3 of 9 will just be 2, right? I think you are comfortable with that. Okay, with that, you see you just have 2, 2, and everybody is base 3. Multiply throughout by 2, you have log base 3 of x squared plus 4x. Subtract 2 of log base 3 of x equals to log base 3 of 4. Now remember when we solve log equation, there are two ways to go about doing Either we do by packing. So I'm going to pack until I have one log function equals to one log function to cancel off the log. Or I can probably do by substitution like what I did with uh, earlier question 8. Now, here, 2 log 3x can be written as log 3 of x squared. And I'm going to show you now by using or reverse engineering the quotient law of logarithms, I can pack these two together and call it log base 3 of x squared plus 4x over x squared. And the right hand side is log base 3 of 4. This is what I mean by packing. Right, I pack my logarithms until I'm left with a single log. On my right side, I have also a single log. Okay? Now, with this, what can we do? Now, you can see that if here, right? Remember when we solve, if log ax is equal to log ay, this will tell you that x is equal to y. Right? Log base ax. So, single log. Huh? Single log. Remember, if they must be of coefficient 1. It cannot be of coefficient 3 or so ever. Then x is equals to y. So this will allow you to have taken away, to take away the log base 3. Then it tells you that x squared plus 4x over x squared equals to 4. So of course, you also have to be careful like that the values inside, right? It must not violate the input of the logarithm. The logarithm here, you can see that here x must be positive. Okay? Because log cannot take in a negative x squared plus 4x multiplied by x squared on both sides you have 3x squared minus 4x equals to 0 x factorizing 4 x equals to 0 or x equals to 4 over 3 now we have to reject this right because we know that x has to be more than 0 by looking at this term here right so you know log 3 base 3 of x your x cannot be 0 it has to be positive Otherwise, you cannot fulfill the input of the logarithm. So that is why we will reject x equals to 0. And the answer we take is x equals to 4 over 3. Okay? Thank you.